which finding, if true, would most directly support the researcher's hypothesis. In the mountains of Brazil, Barbensia tomentosa and Barbensia macrantha, two plants in the Velozaceae family, establish themselves on soilless, nutrient-poor patches of quartzite rock. Plant ecologists Anna Abrajo and Patricia de Brito Costa use microscopic analysis to determine that the roots of B. tomentosa and B. macrantha, which grow directly into the quartzite, have clusters of fine hairs near the root tip. Further analysis indicated that these hairs secrete both malic and citric acids. The researchers hypothesized that the plants depend on dissolving underlying rock with these acids, as the process not only creates channels for continued growth, but also releases phosphates that provide the vital nutrient, phosphorus. So the hypothesis here is that the plants depend on dissolving the underlying rock to release phosphates, which provide nutrients like phosphorus. So option A says, other species in the Velozaceae family are found in terrains with more soil, but have root structures similar to those B. tomentosa and B. macrantha. So this is incorrect because this does not support the researcher's hypothesis. Instead, it focuses on other species in the same family. So A is incorrect. B. Though B. tomentosa and B. macrantha both secrete citric and malic acids, each species provides the acids in different proportions. So this is incorrect because this focuses on them secreting the acids in different proportions, whereas the hypothesis is about how the plants depend on dissolving underlying rock for their nutrients. So B is incorrect. C. The roots of B. tomentosa and B. macrantha carve new entry points into rocks even when cracks in the surface are readily available. This seems to be correct because it supports the hypothesis, which shows that the plants depend on dissolving the underlying rock not only for continued growth but for the acids it releases and so the the plant the roots of B. tomentosa and B. macrantha carve new entry points into rocks even when cracks in the surface are readily available supports the researcher's hypothesis so C seems to be the correct answer D. B. tomentosa and B. macrantha thrive even when transferred to the surfaces of rocks that do not contain phosphates. This is incorrect because this disproves the hypothesis, which is that the plants depend on dissolving the underlying rock for the nutrients like phosphorus. But here it shows that when they are transferred to surfaces of rock that do not contain phosphates, they still thrive. So D is incorrect. And the correct answer is C.